We're at Apple's WWDC conference just around the corner in 2013. Um, I thought I'd show you how to add a little of extra juice to an aging Apple MacBook Pro. Um, I've had this for quite some time and it's been a real workhorse but at the moment it's um, showing signs of uh, age and uh, it's not quite up to speed with um, other devices that I've got. But what I'm going to do today is um, swap out the hard drive on this MacBook Pro and replace it with this uh, Samsung 512 GB solid state disk. Um, this is an 840 Pro and should add some extra speed while booting and accessing files and applications um, and everyday general usage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and remove the hard drive. Um, I've got my handy iFixit uh, toolkit here which I recommend getting to anyone that uh, strips down computers. Um, it's full of all handy tools and I've got my magnetic mat here to uh, keep all my screws in place while I do the transformation from slow Apple device into a super fast solid state disk driven notebook. Alright, here we go. Okay, so now I have all the screws out. What I can do is just tease the back off. Notebook. And you can see a bit of dust inside. Um, but this is the uh, drive that we're going to be replacing. Currently it's just a... Uh, I'm not quite sure what it was when I bought it. But it's a 500 gig Seagate hard disk drive and we're going to swap it out with this 512 gigabyte SSD. And I can't wait to see uh, the performance increase. Uh, when taking out the hard drive you can see that there are four screws here that Apple have used to keep the uh, drive in place and there's a bracket here which is removed. You don't necessarily need to remove this bracket uh, but I'll show you as I go along. to undo these screws because they keep the clamps in place for the drive which you'll need to remove and transfer to the new drive uh, using the handy pickup strip. Okay, so that's the old hard drive, which I can put over here. Now we can get the new, much lighter Samsung 840 Pro. There we go. Just add the holding brackets back into this one. Once those are in place, you can then reconnect the Saturn power cable and locate it in the bottom holders first. And it should drop snugly into place.
make sure that that holding bracket is the right way around. Screw all the location screws back into place. And there you have it. That's the SS drive, SSD drive in place. I'll just replace the outer cover. Remembering where I started with the screws. There you go. That's how easy it is to upgrade a MacBook Pro hard drive to create a faster booting and accessing machine. All I need to do now is install the operating system and away we go. Thanks for watching.